Hey people, in this tutorial we'll be making another procedural HDRI. This one will be a starry sky. So I just have this simple scene right here. It's just a few spheres of different materials. Um, and we're go not going to need this light because we're just going to be using the environment lighting. So you can delete that. Come up to the top over here, switch to shading. Make sure over here that you switch from object to world. You can add a Voronoi, press Control T, this will bring up the texture and mapping uh, if you have Node Wrangler installed. You can connect distance right here. We're going to add a map range like this. I'm also going to add a value and a math going to leave this as add, plug value into from min and add into from max right here. Basically it makes it so when you move this one value it changes both of these values and um, this amount right here is how far apart uh, these two distances are. Similar to uh, using a color ramp except it would be like if, you know, if I move the black flag, it moves the white one also, and they stay the same distance apart. So I'm going to set this to 0.1, and this is actually going to be a negative value, so it's going to invert our texture like that. So now it's just a bunch of little dots, and you can change the scale value right here to make all of them smaller. It changes to like maybe 35 or so. Then next, what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, duplicate these to add a second uh, star field. We're going to use a map node and just add these two together, these two groups. So now when I change the scale over here, I'm just gonna make it a little bigger we have some smaller ones mixed in. I'm actually going to do this one more time. So we have uh, even more small ones, smaller ones. Okay, set this to 100. Now we have a lot of small ones. So if you want, you could stop here. But I want to make it so that some of the stars are bright and some of the stars are dim. So the way we're going to do that is to add a noise texture and a map range. Connect it here. And if you shift control click on the map range right here, it'll preview it for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this noise texture and multiply it with uh, all of the stars that we currently have. So what that will do is all the spots in the noise texture that are white will get brighter and all the spots that are dark will get darker. So I'm just going to tweak these settings a little first until I get the noise texture looking how I want it. Set this to around 14, make it a little smaller. Um, turn the detail up, make this, yeah, about 0.5, something like that. You can add uh, another math node, change this to multiply, like that, duplicate it, there you go. So this is doing what we want, but it looks a little too dark, and that's why I added the second multiply node here. Uh, when you turn this up, it um, it makes the white parts whiter and the dark parts um, stay the same. So right now the spots that are black are just not showing up up at all, but I like to uh, you know leave it like this um, while I change the multiply so you can see how much the light parts are actually affecting your scene. So I can just turn this up until these are bright enough uh, to illuminate my scene a little if that's what you're going for. I'll just turn this up to like 150, something like that. Oh. Not that high, 150. Okay. And then to get the uh, the dark parts to actually show up, you can change this to min 
to uh, a very small amount at first. That pops up. You can make it a little higher. We'll do 0 0.01, maybe 0 0.005, something like that. And if you want to change the way it's distributed, you can just change the from uh, min value. And that's all there is to it. If you want to recommend a topic for a new video or uh, give me some feedback, leave a comment below and share this if you find it helpful. I'm just starting out, so it'll help me a lot. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.